Well, it is already 3 o'clock, well, 3.30 in the afternoon on Monday, November 30th. And we're ending the vlog for the what, uh, what, what can be considered a very, very long weekend. Uh, I, w I did have an opportunity to vlog last night around 11 o'clock, but I just wasn't feeling it. It just... Uh, my mind ne wasn't necessarily there at the point in time. But I just gotta remember sometimes just to, when, when I have the chance to, to vlog, uh, just simply to put in the, uh, the, the, the time, so to speak, to sort of bring things forward to a certain degree. But I wasn't, I was enjoying, uh, my YouTube stroll and, uh, really didn't want to get off and sort of, uh, vlog, uh, I was still a large, a large chunk of, it, chunk of it was that I was still mulling things over in my mind. Uh, things from the weekend hadn't cleared up in terms of uh, my thoughts and meditation, so the meditation continued all the way through and uh, in my sleep and in my dreams. Uh, uh, more occurred. It just as realizations go on, as realizations occur. Uh, the gene, the dream shift, and you, it, it, what it basically means is you're walking along the path. Or, and, and, and what happens is that you don't realize the achievements along the path. I don't think you can call them achievements. They're just simply uh, that you've actually moved further on. You move further down the path. Uh, and it comes to you as you're watching different things, it's just as you're watching different, uh, even shows, cartoons, uh, something will be said, and just the way, the manner you take it, just as you begin to realize, ah, I've moved further along the path, I, I, I am, you know, where I, sort of, somewhat where I need to be along the path. And the thing is, it's, it's, it's actually have already moved after certain so many events have occurred. And the thing is, these events don't necessarily come at you uh, in in the immediate sense. In other words, it could take take you uh, uh, 12, 13, 14 hours to realize what has occurred. It take you, could take you a couple of days to realize what's occurred in your dreams and your sleep. In terms of the achievement of walking the path, we tend to focus on a lot of, uh, and this is the hard part. The focus is somewhat of the negative, but all, along the struggles is is we begin to wonder if we're ever going to achieve what we're going to achieve, and we don't really see the incremental improvements. <clears throat> We see that we're surviving, that we're that we're somewhat moving along, but we don't really necessarily see that uh, things are being progressed in the manner that we think it, they should be progressing. And this comes up in like, like the, the the TV show, the the TV show, the cartoon, the Last Avatar. There's actually a lot there that that could be said for even both versions, the Cat Cora one. The cat core one actually represents something along the types of a negative amongst the multiple different paths that you can take along uh, the sort of the journey of gnosis, the, the journey of knowledge. And once again, I will point out that gnosis is not one one specific thing defined as a path of knowledge. It, it, and the thing is, there are multiple paths on there. Not all of them are good. Not all of them are not all of them are bad. Even some of the bad ones could end up being good because depending on what you learn from it, it depends on how you how you process the knowledge. If you process the knowledge and it brings you towards, and this, the knowledge includes not simply the intellectual knowledge, but also the spiritual knowledge. You have to have both. Some ways, some ways you have to have both. Both these knowledges need to come together. That's the holistic experience. The holistic experience of gnosis, of both the spirit and mind, 
the heart and the mind in some ways, uh, is the journey. And to achieve a spiritual state, and we are not forgetting that the body comes along, if you're on the path of Christ, the eastern path of Christ, the body comes along with us. If you're not, if you're not on the path of Christ, then the body doesn't go with you. If you're, if you're on the path of Christ, then the body goes with you. So there is, again, along that path, there is the need to take, in terms of your holistic path, in terms of the path of Christ, there are three things to take care of. You need to take care of your body, you need to take care of your mind, you need to take care of your heart. And as all, there is always that challenge of trying to keep everything in balance, but it, it's not always possible. And I see people, as you stand back and observe, and being in the observer position is something that's a, a, of a, a unusual feeling because you watch things. You see people realize what's going on, what's wrong. But if they feel that they're in an intractable position, a position that they cannot get out of, that's impossible for them. They'll simply turn around and say, oh, it doesn't exist. And you watch the, the, the sort of, as they fall back into the stupor, they'll look for mechanisms where it's not their own fault of what's actually happening, but rather they look to blame someone else, something else, you know, oh, this is God's will, this is why something bad is happening, it's God's will, and uh, we, who are we to, be, you know, to, to, uh, uh, to challenge this? And the thing is, is, it's not always God's will. God has his, what he wants and what he'd like. He's got his own mind. We can't know what God wants. We can't know his mind in, in, in its entirety. We have an idea of what he wants, but to say, ah, oh, I'm following God's will, well, that, that's not necessarily the case. Because we don't have to know exactly what God's will is, because we're given free will. We can choose what we want and what we don't want. That's one of the gifts that we're given. Same thing with the angels, including the demons who were once angels. They, the demons are, one, are, 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 are demons because, uh, and not angels anymore because they have the free will and, and that's what their choice was. And the question you ask, well, how does a person come to these particular choices? And they realize a lot of times that the choices are not necessarily made intellectually, but rather they're made with an emotion. These are emotional choices. Add in the factor of emotional choices. Now you have a whole new reasoning for why people behave the way they behave. And you realize as you start talking to people, and I've talk, I was talking to my mama about all the different people I've met and talked to and had conversations with. There are people from all forms of life, all walks of life, and you cannot put everyone in a pigeonhole. You, you, the, the, there are certain things that they're in their control, certain things that are not within, not within their control, certain things they like, certain things they don't like, and they have they go back and forth between the things within their minds in terms of their intellect and th certain things within their emotions. And the, the emotions are also partially within the mind as well, but because there is an interconnection in this is what comes out in our dreams. A lot of what comes out in our dreams are our emotions. You're in a situation. The situation is presenting very strong feelings, very strong emotions. They're there to trigger your emotions. Are you a person who triggers easily? Well, that's what the dream does. It triggers your emotions. Okay, well, how do you deal with those emotions? How do you deal with that feeling? And it lasts, if you're a lucid dreamer, it lasts even while you're awake. And if you realize what's going on in terms of being on the path of gnosis, uh, you know, in terms of being a practitioner, these are things that you can practice while you're awake. You can practice seeing how you feel about something, how you feel about a particular situation, and then how to deal with these emotions, how to deal with what you're feeling. But it's a complex thing. It's not. It's nothing that's. That, it's nothing that's simple. Anyways, uh, I have to do some gaming and some meditation maybe we'll see what ends up happening although I might take some might, might do some meditation later on tonight because I'm still kind of feeling wiped out uh, and do some other work while I'm gaming
ended the video for, ended the vlog for, uh, for Monday, what was it? no, for the weekend, the weekend vlog, <laughs> uh, just a, just a little while ago, I can't remember, about a couple hours ago, and we're going to begin again, uh, for the 30th, this is the vlog for the 30th, it's, uh, 17 hours and 11 minutes into the day, and we're going to start off with a package opening. Actually, we've got two package openings coming here. We've got two of them. One, and then this, the second one I'll get to as we get to it. Oh. Still in the middle of doing a lot of work. I'm upgrading the laptop. I haven't run it in a while, so it needs some uh, upgrading. It needs some upgrading, software upgrading. So that's being done. Let's see, what do we have here? Ah! Drill bits. There you go. Let's get that. There we go. That's the drill bit there. So I've got drill bits. Uh, the picture looked a lot bigger in, in the picture, so... Uh, we now have another one. Let's see what's in this one. Seems like a box. Now, what the box exactly is, I don't know. <laughs> uh. Oh, it's an LED lamp. Let's get some, uh, well, this is it here. And it's 10 watts. It's a floodlight. So I'm going to eventually try this out and see how it sets up. I'll open it up. and see what it looks like in, on the inside and that will sort of give me an idea of how to set it up and how to, how to, how to plug it in. Okay, so this is it. It comes without a plug. So I've got to find some way to power this. So. Uh, that's going to remain to be seen. So, you know, th this is sort of what it is here. I got this out of curiosity, so interesting. But I don't necessarily, I don't necessarily need a floodlight because uh, uh, the LED lights that I have in the regular fixtures work all right. They, they, there's no real issue with them. So there's more stuff coming in during the week. I have to sort of look and see how to power this. It says 110 volts. So, uh, I'm going to figure that one out and then go from there. <laughs> I'm, but that's, that's the opening. We got that in. Uh, we're starting off the vlog. I said upgrading the computer. In terms of history uh, in the gaming that I've been doing, you have to look at a variety of different sources. This is another source. Uh, and you begin to understand how people are never on the same page. A lot of conspiracy theorists would like to say, oh, everyone's on the same page. Well, they're not on the same page. They may have certain common interests at a particular point in time, but they're not always on the same page. And what happens is you start seeing how a, a conspiracy in one aspect can easily fall apart either before or even during the uh, event and this go back, goes back to uh, Lionel LeBron's whole thing on communism and, and Marxism and Leninism, you know, the leftists. I mean, he's absolutely floored about, uh, everyone's using the wrong term, leftist. I know that. Well, well okay, he knows a leftist. But what you, what, you, what you can show is that the leftists were never on the same page. I mean, you have uh, uh, Lenin, which is uh, Vladimir Lenin. You had Trotsky, and, and then you had Stalin. They were all, at one point in time, comrades. And they all considered themselves to be comrades. What happened? Vladimir Lenin became the leader in the beginning. 
He was then overthrown by uh, he was then overthrown by Trotsky, who was then overthrown by Stalin. <laughs> Each considered themselves well. He they're not properly communist. Paul Pot wasn't wasn't a proper communist. Well, there was never in history any real communism in there. Oh, really? <laughs> what was the whole communist revolution about? What was the Soviet Union about? And but the, but the, these are the people again who have. Live, they live within their ideals. And anything that does not live up to their ideas specifically isn't real. Well, that's not really communist. Or that's not really leftism. That's not liberal, really liberalism. Well, it is. It's that person's version of what, whatever they claim it to be. And it's about individual self-identity. These people say, oh, we're, we're, we're for the people, but the way I want the people to be. It comes over and says, well, it's an ideal. What is it, the ideal? It's about a planned economy. Well, whose plan? Stalin's plan, Trotsky's plan, Lenin's plan, Paul Pot's plan, Obama's plan, Biden's plan, Kamala Harris's plan. Whose plan is it? It's got to be somebody's. It's a, it's a planned economy. It's an ideal. Well, the Fabian Society had ideas, uh, and the Fabian Society is a real society. Uh, its founder, one of the key founders, was H.G. Uh, Wells. He was an author along the lines of, 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 of uh, Dostoevsky. They formed a large chunk of the thoughts of, of what we call the modern era. We're sitting in the modern era. And they formed a lot of it. The era of the 50s was formed not by Christianity, but by Anna Freud. And in a sense, because of Edward Bernays, Freud's nephew, we're still living in a Freudian universe. We're living in a Freudian era. Starting from 1900 on, it was the Freudian era. It went through various different forms of, you know, social egalitarianism, where you had the elites from one side or the other deciding... Who's going to control what? We are still within this uh, 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 existence of which elites are going to control what things. But I think as long as, long as they leave you alone enough, then you can have an independent existence. But what's your existence going to be? Anyways, uh, I think I'll leave that here for now. I have to get back to uh, some of the uh, documentaries I'm watching, some of the, the different commentaries, and uh, on with the upgrades.